Have you ever felt like nobody? Hi, my name is Leah Shaw. I'm a junior, and I have someone who's very close to me in my life, and is still very close to me. Who a little while back started struggling with a lot of different things, one of them being depression. Um, and this person didn't go to school for over a week. They said that they just like didn't feel good. They had a headache, but and didn't really tell anyone what was actually going on. And they stayed in their room for like a week straight. <laughs> didn't leave besides to get like food, um, and was just obviously in a really bad place. And this person actually texted a friend and told them everything that was going on, how he was having suicidal thoughts, um, and actually like his plan and that he's gonna kill himself. I'm Kaya Rossi, I am a freshman and I was diagnosed with depression in sixth grade. I started to take on everybody's struggles in my life and I had an extreme amount of empathy, which is sometimes a good thing and sometimes it's not. I, I had friends had struggles and I took all of them on and I didn't remember myself. And it is a genetic thing too. I, my mom has depression so I, would, I have a higher chance of having it. So I was diagnosed and it was just a really hard time for me because I consistently for a long time was just so sad. Like it was just an overwhelming feeling that I had and I, I wanted to get better but at the same time I was so exhausted. My name is Ryan Griffith. I'm a sophomore. And so back a couple years ago in seventh grade, I uh, went to a different school. I didn't really have many friends. My grades were really bad. And I really felt that I was at a low point in my life. Felt that I was at rock bottom and things would just keep on getting worse and worse. Uh, I didn't think that there was a point of keep on going. I just felt that it was just downhill from there. On that day, he used his power not to be hurt, not to be angry, but to be loving. And each and every one of us, every single day, have the same opportunity. I absolutely love this job because I've been able to see people in the darkest situations find love and find light, but furthermore, find their own identity. Do not let this day go by and it just be an opportunity for you to get out of school. I challenge you, each and every one of you, to be a speaker of love. I'm Nick Jackson, and I love y'all. Have a great day. Uh, at the time, there was a kid I knew I wasn't really good friends with him, but I knew who he was. He, uh, he noticed that I was feeling really down, and he eventually told my parents about what was going on. And from there, my parents were able to give me the help I need and able to recover in who I am today. I eventually had to get up and I had to say something. My parents had realized a difference in how I was acting, so I brought it up to them and I went to the doctor and I got evaluated, I got diagnosed, and like that was the first step of taking action and that's where I am today because I talked about it and I brought it up to people and I was open about my struggles. I eventually started speaking for classes like the empowerment class and talking to girls that could probably relate to some of my struggles and how to help with them. I realized my coping strategies I started focusing on the positive and now I'm speaking a lot more about all of my issues and like living with it and finding a balance. The friend actually said something um, and told a trusted adult everything that was going on and this adult was able to get the person the help they needed and 
if that person never would have said something, it could have ended up being a very different story. And that's why it is so important to say something if someone needs help. <laughs>